Dia. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel, Our Continuing Adventure, what it's like to live here in Portugal. And we appreciate your support. We appreciate your interest. And as always, uh, please like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, we'll leave our email at the end and you can uh, send us questions about uh, your desire to be on an adventure here in Portugal. Right. So I'm Kathleen. Oh, yes. And I'm Ross. <laughs> uh, we just got back from a three-day visit to... Vienna do Castelo. And it was wonderful. Wow. I mean, it, 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 was, it was great. We Loved really it. enjoyed it. When we're going to look at a new city here in Portugal, we're not just going there uh, as a tourist. What we're doing, we have kind of, when we go, we look at the character. We're looking at walkability, asking ourselves, is this some place that we could actually live? And we look at transportation, how well a, a city or town is connected to the rest of Portugal and also to Europe. So Viana do Castelo is, is a small city. It's smaller than Porto. And uh, if that's desirable to you, it's desirable to us. We, we were like, wow, it's got everything, but it's way smaller. It's kind of like we used to live in Portland, Maine. It reminded me of that. Um, they have a, a lot of history, lots of old. They're maintaining the older culture and character and they're embracing technology. If there's a lot of really uh, forward thinking, and uh, I'm sure there's there's many uh, digital nomads there, um, it it just has everything I think that you would want or that felt, we would want. Yeah, and it, it <laughs> felt really vibrant. It it was it, there was like it oozing history out of the out of the buildings around us. And at the same time, you could feel this upbeat kind of, of uh, looking to the future mm -hmm. sense. You know, people, people they're holding on, not holding on, they're promoting their traditions. But at the same time, there's a sense of new and excitement. Uh, so it, it was a really interesting vibe. It was. It was definitely interesting. And as far as walkability, well, you know us, we don't have a vehicle. And deliberately, we don't want a vehicle. We want to walk. So it's yeah. really oh, so, yeah. so it's really important to us that <laughs> we can do all those things that involve you know daily living. Viana definitely checked off all those boxes. Uh, everything was centrally located. I mean, I went through the our, our list of all the different places we went to. That everything was like within an eight to ten minute walking radius. That includes the the train station the bus station, three grocery stores. We went to, um, which stores did we went to? Pingo Dos, they had, they had Pingo Dos and Freusch, and uh, what else? Oh, Continent, Continent. Yeah. yeah. There's a yeah. there's a great big mall there, and um, on the other side of the train station, very close, and with the Continent. Anything you want, anything you need is there, plus little shops, little butcher shops, and you know, all the potterias, all the bakeries. Our bank was right there within walking distance. Uh, the new hospital is right behind the train station as well. The riverfront is right there. Again, like in a three to four minute walk. Uh, city parks, everything was so centrally located. And within less than 30 minute walk, a nice flat stroll, it's flat, except yeah. for going up to Santa Lucia. It's, it's a flat, pretty flat city, easy, easy walk. In less than 30 minutes, you are at the beautiful, mm. beautiful coast. The, the ocean is right there. They have a really wonderful promenade with cafes and bars, and it's just, uh, it's gorgeous. And we love to walk on the, on the ocean, or not on the ocean, <laughs> on the, on the uh, promenade. By the beach. <laughs> by the beach, and we love to walk by the river. So they have both. It was it was great. Great trails. People were jogging. People were, you know, kids were playing at the playgrounds, and it was just awesome. Yes, and and the beach area, North Beach. The, there's a North Beach and a South Beach, one on each side of the Lima River, and they're not overly built up. There's not like a lot of hotels uh, right up to the edge, but there are some cafes. Like Kathleen said, a huge promenade. There's a historic site, a fort. I can't think of the name of it right now. I will put that in the notes. But very, very uh, pleasant um, and easy to walk. 
uh, the area is flat, except it is surrounded by hills. And Santa Lucia, it is connected with a funicular, an elevator. However, that happened to be out of service while we were there, and we didn't go up there. So we're going to go back, and there's a, a Stone Age like um, uh, ruins up there to explore, and and the, the the church as well. So we're looking forward to that as a trip back. Another thing about walkability is also walking around in the evening, and everything was so well lit. The main uh, street, uh, the city park had lights in the trees. It felt, we, we never felt like we were um, threatened or whatever. It was very, very comfortable, very safe, just very similar to uh, Porto. But it was really easy to get around at night, and it's a little bit quieter. Now, I don't know if that's because the the tourist season is at an end there, but uh, it's definitely a very peaceful uh, city with uh, lots of little cafes. Uh, again, people hanging out, enjoying themselves, uh, but nothing that uh, seemed uh, crazy and, and uh, uh, you know, again, very quiet, very peaceful. So one thing that's really great about Vienna du Castello is that it has good transportation. The train station is right there. The buses come right there. You can get to the Porto Airport easily. We uh, rode the train easily from Porto. Um, you can also go into Spain. You can go yeah. all the way up to through Valencia and into Santiago, into the, the Galicia area of Spain. And um, it's just from there, there you go. You, you can go just about anywhere in Europe and you don't need to have a metro, metro trains like we have here in Porto because the city's not that big. Uh, we did notice there's a few yeah. smaller buses. So um, we didn't check that out. We were walking. But we said, oh, look at that cute little bus. And then there was a couple bigger buses. Like maybe they go out to the suburbs or something. But um, so they do have some bus, city bus things. Yeah. As yeah. well as yeah. the, the buses that take you to the other cities and villages. Vienna du Castello is just a short train ride north of uh, Porto here. So it's about an hour and 20 minutes on the, uh, on the train. Arrive right in the middle of town. From Vienna, you can take the train up to Valencia, which is about, I think it's 50 minutes, an hour, a short ride. And from there, you can connect with the Spanish uh, high-speed train and go over to Madrid. Uh, in, I think the high-speed train, you can get there like six hours or something. Uh, I'd have to look that up again. But again, you're connected to Europe very easily. And like Kathleen said, the bus from the center of the city, you get you to the Porto Airport in like an hour. Um, so it's, it felt very well connected. Food and wine. If you've watched any of our videos, you know that we... We are into it. <laughs> we, we're always thinking, well, it's lunchtime, or where can we go eat? Where can we so, go eat? So, the, Viana is filled with little cafes, paterias, and restaurants. And one of the things that we love to search out is Pratudia. On a weekday. On a weekday. And we really like to look at it for the small places that the locals go to, like maybe a mom and pop place. And we found two of them really. <laughs> Actually, yeah. we, we found more. But more. You but can only eat so too. much, right? And like the, the first one we found, it's it's been in existence for like 100 years. Mm -hmm. They were celebrating, I think, their 100th anniversary. Not the same owners. But... We had we had a pratudia plate of the day for four fifty euros mm -hmm. each, and that included a glass of wine. So you can't go wrong with that. But there's also the thing that is really uh, um, wonderful. So we did take time. It was my birthday, and um, our our daughter's son-in-law sent me a, a cash gift to go out and eat. There's a uh, one-star Michelin restaurant. They just got their star in 2022. And I'll put that in the notes as well. It was excellent, <clears throat> and we enjoyed a wonderful evening meal there with some fresh fish, grilled, I think we had sea bass, and uh, they're, they're known for their fish soup. It was excellent. And it really wasn't that pricey. So uh, again, this little city, walkability, lots of charm, lots of character, and lots of really good positive energy, a really good vibe all the way around. Yep.
really cool. So would we consider living there after just that one visit? Yes, I, I, I absolutely think it would uh, mm -hmm. be a cool place uh, for us, for how we like to live our life. Um, we would go for the city center um, that would work for us really well because we want to be able to be right in the middle of all the things that we need, plus in close proximity to the walks, the beach, and the, uh, the riverfront. That riverfront was quite gorgeous yeah. too. And um, and that really pretty park by the river that was lit up at night and they were setting up their Christmas lights, but they weren't on yet. So no. I bet that's pretty spectacular there too. Um, it, yeah. che it checked all the boxes for us. Uh, again, you know, the character was great, charming, like Kathleen said. We could, walkability was really good. And that that it had all the amenities we needed to live on a daily basis, you know, because we're not, we're not again, going there as tourists. But if it's a place that we could really see ourselves living and not being bored and being excited each and every day that we go out for a walk. So, yes. Definitely, right. Right. Uh, we could live there. So we don't really know about like an a, equivalent to our apartment. We have a T1 that's furnished. We don't, we don't really know. We didn't look at any places, but it would be worth exploring. Yes, definitely. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel, Our Continuing Adventure. Make sure you go down to the description below. We have some other links to tell you about Viana du Castello and how to get in touch with us if you have any questions. So we've just finished telling you about our recent adventure. What, what adventure, adventure are, are you, you on today? today?